Hello, brothers, and welcome to the Restored Man process that we're going to be walking through together. And I thought I'd take just a few minutes to give you some basic details about the book and about the process that we're going to walk through together. Uh, I think a fitting spot for us to be talking about this because it is going to be a little bit of a messy process, you know, walking through our own brokenness, brokenness of others. Hey, I'm here in a garage. Uh, where some cars are being restored and uh, it's a little bit messy back here But that kind of matches the process we'll be going through so when you go into the book though uh, Just to walk you through the basics of it uh, each uh, Chapter begins with a story that I put together about a young man with his grandfather restoring old Daisy I'm sure you've probably gotten into that a little bit. I just thought sort of a fun story that uh, I never had a grandfather like that that I could do that with but I just think that whole process of their relationship building and working on old Daisy the race car. But then as you get into each chapter, there's the starting point piece, the first part, uh, where there's some assessments I want to encourage you to take and have a friend or a spouse take for you. That's kind of to give us a baseline to where are you at spiritually, emotionally, uh, before we start the journey together. And then we'll move into the four phases. The first one being know God as Father, uh, where we're going to look at our relationships with our earthly dads and how that affects our relationship with God. So that's phase one. Phase two is knowing self, uh, dealing with your own story. And that's where we take the life of David, King David, and your own journey, and we just parallel those together and really dig into some elements of your story and my story as men. That's phase two. Phase three is to live in brokenness and humility. And we're going to unpack the biblical theme of uh, brokenness and how God uses men who are broken and humble to deliver his power and strength. And then finally, we'll come around to phase four, which is to walk with God in the disciplines. And that's where we're going to talk about simple things like prayer and Bible study and spiritual warfare and how those are tools of how how we can walk with God and grow a little bit more each day. And then we'll finally bring it all around to the journey ahead where we'll recap this and talk about where do we go from here. And so I'm excited about this journey together. Uh, I hope you'll pour your heart into this. Some of you may be walking through this with a group of brothers, which I highly encourage, but together we're gonna grow through this and move from brokenness to restoration. <laughs>